This is by far one of Benjamin Moore's best-selling colors, and I really think you need to use it in your next project. If you need some convincing, I'm gonna tell you all about it and give you a full-on color palette that combines soft neutrals and fun little pops of color for a bit of everything. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about one of my favorite paint colors from Benjamin Moore, Balboa Mist. This color is the perfect light neutral that works in so many design styles. That's really one of the major strengths is the fact that you can have it as a neutral backdrop for just a full on boho maximalist design or have it anchor a more muted, understated modern farmhouse aesthetic that is based on a bit less saturation. The color has two color codes you may be familiar with depending on your region, 1549 and OC-27. The OC stands for Off-White Collection, and although Bobo Mist is a lighter color to me, it has a bit too much depth to feel like a true off-white. We can tell how light or dark it is by looking at its LRV on the Benjamin Moore website, which has been recently redone. Looks pretty good. Balboa Mist sits around 65, and this means it will reflect around 65% of any light that hits it. It's really simple. For those of you that are new to the channel and don't know what to make of that information, 65 is actually a pretty optimal lightness value for interior walls, especially because of the fact that they're not too white, but also not gonna scare you away for being too rich either. Balboa Mist has just the right amount of lightness to me, but also the right amount of coloration as a neutral. It's gray based, but it has a touch of warmth to make it feel a bit happier as a paint color. And to be honest, it ends up being one of the first colors I show customers looking for something soft and simple, just kind of as a nice baseline. You could call it a slightly darker version of Classic Gray, which is another one of my all time favorites. So really those are 1A and 1B in my mind. I prefer Balboa Mist in lighter spaces because Classic Gray has a tendency to really wash out if there's just too much light surrounding it. So for the interior of your home, Balboa Mist is a great color for the most wide open concept spaces or even just a single solitary bedroom. It has that subtle warm undertone that makes rooms feel cozy and bright. I would say it's neutral, but not boring. What's exciting about it is the fact that it just works in so many different circumstances. Even as an exterior color, to touch on that for a second, I find it to be a great choice on the outside of a house or as a light trim color around a much darker main body color. It will seem a lot lighter outside because of how powerful the sun is as a light source, so just be sure to test it out before you commit to it so you have an idea of how it will react outside. Balboa Mist is ideal for things like beachy cottages or even a modern farm farmhouse. It's really this beautiful soft hazy gray that complements white trim and also natural wood accents. So pretty much everything. But primarily I would say that Balboa Mist is an all-star inside the home and that's why I put together a color palette of five other paint colors including three wall choices and two trim colors that you can incorporate to spice up your space with this super sexy neutral. Sexy neutral is a little bit of an oxymoron but Hey, I freaking love neutrals, okay? So the first color we're gonna go with is called Jute, which is along the same lines, except there's less visible gray here. You see a little more of a light brown, kind of a warm tan touch that really brightens the color up. It's a color that won't look as vibrant as maybe your Jute rug, if you're into those, but I think it'll definitely coordinate with those warmer tones really, really well, and it'll just further accentuate any organic materials, plant life, natural woods, rattan, wicker, even fabrics like linen and cotton and wool, all that good stuff. Chunky knit stuff, nice. <laughs> Jute is also a color that is fairly light, meaning along with Balboa Mist, it's a color you can use throughout your home. So whatever one you decide to use in a specific space, they're both gonna work in different ways. Balboa will feel a little more understated, Jute will be a little more uplifting. The next color is also a little bit earthy, but not nearly as neutral because of its peachy rose undertone. It's called Venetian Portico, and it's part of the Affinity Color Collection, which is one of my favorites by Benjamin Moore. And what I love about it is it still feels organic, like natural red earth or clay, but also in other circumstances, it just has this flirty sort of whimsical charm to it that can really evolve throughout the day based on your lighting or the lighting of the sun passing over. Sometimes that peachiness gets accentuated a little bit more. Other times you'll have a more relaxed tan color. And then in other cases, it'll seem a bit more rosy. This is a color I would reserve for the sectioned off parts of your home. 
not really intended for the open areas like your hallways. I think the other two are better suited for that. But slip this in somewhere and it'll really be a lot of fun. This next color pairing is gonna make you gasp. <gasps> a blue gasp, actually. Correctly pronounced, this is blue gaspé. And it is a color that combines purple, blue, and a bit of black to give you this smoky, distinct color that really stands on its own in a wonderful way. Being the darkest color of the bunch, it's naturally going to feel the most dramatic when you use it in a room. So anywhere that you don't want things really light and carefree and minimal, you go with this. I like blue Gaspé in an office. I think it would look great in a bedroom as well or a powder room because that's always one of those wild card options where you can just put any color in a powder room. And this is a great candidate. This dark color also has a really fun interaction with Venetian portico. So if those two are sharing the same space, they will really bring out the best in one another. So far so good, right? Well, normally Balboa Mist is just paired with other neutrals, but I wanted to try something new here for you all. We got some very important trim colors to talk about because your baseboards need to look pretty too. And if you're liking the content so far, please press that like button for me if you're excited about free color advice. So to start things off, we're talking about a white trim and baseboard color for the palette, and that would be Oxford White because it's soft, crisp, but not overpowering, which is kind of hard to find in a white paint color. It's not really mega popular for some reason, but I tend to use it all the time and not just on trim for that matter, like walls and ceilings, just all over the interior of a house. I've done that. It's a great color. But if you wanted a darker trim option, I could offer you Chelsea Gray, which is very much in line with Balboa Mist specifically, but taken to a much deeper, darker level. It's almost a taupe containing gray, a bit of brown, and then you have this little touch of purple as well, which I find to be very elegant and prestigious looking. Here's the palette all together. Please let me know what you think. And we have an even more popular color to talk about right over here. 